People buy a lot of strange things, you know. They look at women just. The woman's bathroom to me is one of the most frightening rooms. <laughs> the amount of equipment, it's an arsenal. It's an arsenal of equipment. The, the hot curlers on that little launching pad there. <laughs> what do you just fire them right off of that thing? <clears throat> They're like, they look like cruise curlers to me. I guess once you got the curlers in your hair, you can cook potatoes on those things that stick up when you, you really maximize your time. But I just, the main thing I don't understand in the women's bathroom is the cotton balls. They've got so many cotton balls, I don't need any cotton balls. I've never had one, I've never bought one. I've never, I've never even been in a situation where I thought I could use a cotton ball right now. And yet women need thousands of them every single day. They buy these bags of them like peat moss bags. Have you ever seen these giant? They go through them in a matter of minutes. They're all done with them. I had four cotton balls. My girlfriend left four cotton balls over my house one time because she knew I wouldn't know what to do with them. And I didn't. I had to rack my brains to get rid of these little cotton balls. I would throw one on the kitchen floor like a little tumbleweed. You know, I thought maybe cockroaches would walk by it, figure it's a dead town, and move on. Or I'd go to the doctor. If I knew he was going to give me a shot, I'd bring that little extra cotton ball with me because they like to put that little alcohol on your arm with the cotton. And he would go for his cotton ball, and I'd go, maybe you could use this one. In pretty good shape. And he would use it sometimes, take a penny off on my bill for not using one of his cotton balls. But then he would give me a prescription. I take that home, open up the bottle, there's another cotton ball in there. 